I'm Nikki Fleming um, and I'm John Sieverdink and Barbara Sieverdink's eldest niece. I'm Cathy Harris Hawkins. I'm Uncle John's uh, youngest niece. We are putting this beautiful, beautiful collection of artwork, seagulls and other European painters. And as well as the paintings, we've got Asian European ceramics. Um, there's books. Stunning. Even the bits of furniture that are going to be part of the collection. I, so we had no idea about, <laughs> did we? Our wonderful Auntie Barbara, who is now 90, has lived without John since 2009 and lived herself on a shoestring. Yeah. Now, she had a, a fall which resulted in her ending up in a nursing home. And which is really the very best place for her because they love her like we do. Because she's in such a wonderful place, we want to keep her there for as long yeah. as she possibly can. And all the proceeds, all of the proceeds will go towards funding her care in this nursing home. So mm -hmm. that the last few years of her life, where she's found friendship and yeah. laughter, will be funded by the sale of this. John would be so chuffed, not only oh, that everything yeah. is going to be sold in a beautiful auction where he always bought beautiful things. Yeah. But his beloved Barbara and our wonderful auntie <laughs> uh, will have such wonderful care yeah. for the rest of her life. These pieces, valuable though they were, financially valuable, had more value in the fact that they were pieces that yeah. were loved. They bought them new, they'd not been pre-owned, mm -hmm. especially the watercolours. You know, from the, from the documentation and the history that we've got, that we've uncovered, um, demonstrates that they bought these from the artist, which is incredible. It was a minefield of information, wasn't it, that we uncovered? Boxes and boxes and always in order, mm. always with dates, always with names, prices, mm. letters to, to give information, information that John had been asked to give from, you know, um, houses all around the world, what was mm. John's opinion of this mm. particular piece, had it been corrected, had there been some work done on it. It was amazing mm. to find that. The collection was John's parents, both his parents, particularly his mother I think with the porcelain and his father with the pictures and John's own purchasing. <laughs> Everything is documented, isn't it? Yeah. He'd be proud that this collection is going to be back in a place where it's somebody who really appreciates it. Yeah, they deserve to be loved. The, the china on those glass shelves, all beautifully lit. <laughs> yes, there was one in the kitchen, wasn't there? Yeah. That you'd stick, you know, and you've dumped your tea bags in the cup, you'd pop your tea bags on the piece yeah. of china, yeah. until we discovered actually it was 16th or 17th century or something ridiculous yeah. like that, and thinking, okay. The easel is the history of all the work that my uncle and his father did because this was his father's easel. The type of paintings that were restored on this. We know there's been Gainsborough's. We know there's been Turner's, Manet. I mean, goodness me, if this could tell a story, what a story it could tell. Apart from the astonishing paintings that he was restoring, the clients that he had, these um, Auction houses, his galleries in London and all around the world are asking his opinion yeah. on what he felt should be undertaken in terms of restoration. Yeah. Agnes, Christie's, I mean, you've got the big names. The thing that he surprised me with saying was because I don't really buy anything unless it's something beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. For us, Cathy, I think, don't you, that this is a, a homage yeah. to John. This is a mark of respect yeah. for him yeah. that this is going to a sale like this. You know, some of it was going to house clearance, some was going to charity shops. Yep. I mean, we were in danger of throwing away or giving away. I mean, we had the skip in the, in, we would never have put these in the skip, but we had the skip <laughs> in the garden <laughs> and we were going to put stuff in there. And then when we happened, when I happened to, to meet in Lee and I just said, I've got a photograph of some other stuff that Uncle John collected. And he said, well, I'll come and have a look at it. I'll come and have a look at it, had a look at it. And he said, don't touch anything else. <laughs> don't oh. throw anything else away. No. I'll come and look at it. I said, well, I don't think there's much left. Said, yeah. Don't go and touch anything. Yeah. So when we went down, 
and we had Lee with us and we're saying, well, this tea bag holder is, yeah. you know, or this soda. No, don't touch that. Yeah. That will be, very you know, calmly, very calmly. Yep. It was, it was just to say, children, just step back and let the grown ups yeah. deal with this now. But also then giving us some of the history of it. And we were oh, like, oh, fascinating. Draw drop. Yeah. You mean what? You mean this thing here that we're just turning up and down? He <laughs> said, would you like to place that carefully down there? Oh, John would have loved it. And I'm really, really looking forward to the sale. Oh, it's exciting.